next continuation for the previous topic points of zero potential what is meant by points of zero potential it is the point where net electric potential is zero it is the point where net electric potential is zero then for a system of charges suppose if you have number of charges in that region and at one particular point what is the net electric potential it should be zero that means it should be zero means at least in a system of charges at least one charge should be opposite to the other charges suppose our five charges are there four are positive then fifth charge must and should be it is a negative charge if at least one negative charge one opposite sign charge is present then only electric potential is zero now here we will discuss electric potential due to for a system of two charges system of two charges we will discuss if you are doing system of two charges let's assume two put two charges q1 and minus q2 just now i told to you for electric potential should be zero it should have at least one charge should be negative the, otherwise it's not possible by very simple logic potential due to positive charge is positive potential due to negative charge is negative here summation should be zero means one should create negative potential that means provided by opposite charge then these two are separated by certain distance r then there is just two points in that region where electric potential is zero one lies in between them one lies in between them other one lies on the other side that means outside the two charges that means there are two points where we have zero potential points let it be a b are the charges and p is the point where is electric potential is zero and also q is the other point where electric potential is and this zero potential point is always closer to smaller magnitude let's assume that here q1 is less than q2 magnitude of q1 is less than q2 then if i assume a is located at a distance of x means this was located at r minus x then if net electric potential at p equal to 0 means this is va plus vp must be equal to 0 at point p that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 by x minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q2 by r minus x is equal to 0 from this one we can say q1 by x equal to q2 by r minus x on simplification the value of x is r divided by q2 by q1 plus 1 from q1 this is the point where net electric potential is zero and there is another point which lies outside of there suppose that point is located at a distance of y from here then it will be r plus y from q2 always net electric potential is zero closer to small magnitude that's why net electric potential at q is zero means 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 by y minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q2 by r plus y equal to zero on simplification once again y is equal to r divided by q2 by q1 minus 1 from q1 these are the points which are called as zero potential points now points of zero potential exist only for unlike charges then we can say that sir is it exist only two points no actually note on this point there in fact there will be infinite zero potential points that means suppose if you are taking q1 and q2 and q1 is less than q2 and the opposite charge then we are saying it was located at a distance of x from here and y from here point 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 like this there exist infinite potential points and all these points lying on a circle these points lying on a circle whose diameter is equal to x plus y 
that means like this how many points are available infinite zero potential points are available for a given pair of two charges that means they are lying on a diameter that means any point if you consider where potential is any point on the circle is like this infinite potentials are lying and the circle and circle diameter is equal to x plus y. 